I wanted to talk to you about five things you do not know about Google Slides. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton, all about technology, teaching, and treasures. First up, moving slides between presentations. So here we have my sample slide deck with these three slides. And I know I have a couple slides on my compare and contrast slides that I want to bring over here. So if I open that up, if I highlight, press control, and I'm going to take this one as well. So I'm going to take those two slides, the first and the third, control C, go back over to my sample slide. Notice this last one's highlighted. So when I press control V, they'll show up right below that. Next up is how do you restore a previous version? So I've done all these edits on this slide. How do I get back to where I started from? If I'm not liking any of the changes that were made. I want to get back to my clean slate. I go right here. So these save automatically. So you find this version that you want, click on restore this version, and it will put it back to this version. Pro tip. Now what I like to do with this version history is when I have slide deck that has shared a collaborative slide deck with my classroom. When I go here to this version history over here on the side, I will see all of the students that participated. It shows each and every one of their names. And then because I'm a high school teacher at the end of the period, I just have this first one name. This is my original. So I have my original and then I'll have all these names listed making all these edits. And then I know who participated and who did not. At the end of the period, I just go back, click on my original, restore, and it sets it back ready for the next class to come in and edit the same exact slide deck. So I don't have to have multiple slide decks for them to be interactive. I just keep restoring it back to the original and I have it already graded. I know who participated and who did not. Three, link slides in a slide deck. I'm back to my compare and contrast slide. I did a whole presentation, a whole video about my top tips from creation to presentations of Google Slides. If you haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and link it down in the description and I'll link it at the end as well. But here we are. If you want to link within your Google Slide, so here I'm going to go here. You got to link it to either words or a picture. If I want to link my avatar to this last slide here, I take a look. It's on slide seven. So highlight it, go right here to the little link and then just start typing in slide and seven. Now when we click there, it will take us immediately to slide seven. Just that simple. Okay, themes is often underutilized in Google Slides. If you go up here to add a new slide, this arrow, this shows you all the slides currently in this theme. Pretty plain. But if you go right here, click on theme, it will give you these options. Now they're kind of basic. I know what you're thinking. However, you can spruce them up a bit. So I'm going to choose this theme. I go to slide, edit theme. Here I can change the font to my favorite, which is Bubblegum Sans. If you want to change it on all the slides, you want to make sure you're going to this very top one and then that will change it on all the slides instead of just that one type of layout. So now all of the titles are Bubblegum Sans. That's how to change the font. Now let's take a look at changing the color. So I've got my slide. So go to slide, edit theme. You get this color palette. Click on colors. This is the current color palette that we're using on these slides. To change it, just click on each and every one of them and you can change those. So I'm going to change this one to a more turquoisey color like that. Notice all of them change. Everywhere there was that green, it is now that blue. Once I get out of that, go to this drop down menu. I can see all of the green is now that blue. And you can do that for each and every color in the palette that you don't like. So if you don't want the black, you want yellow, change it to yellow. And five, my favorite Q&A built right in to your presentation. Go to presenter view, audience tool, start new, 
accepting questions. And this right here will show up at the top of your slides. So students can actually log in, answer questions, and you can see those either at the end, during the lesson, whenever you want to answer those questions. So student asks, what time is class over? Ugh, I get that all the time. <laughs> Am I the only one? Okay. And then other students can actually give it a thumbs up and bump it up if they like that question or down. They did choose anonymous to respond here. However, in my classroom, I just tell them you cannot respond anonymously. So, so that's how you use the Q&A. If you verbally ask a question, students can actually just type in their responses and post it right here and you will see everything while you are presenting. If you no longer want to accept questions, just turn that off. And notice on my slide, that bar at the top went away.